If you don't want it to blow up from the flow up, don't call me. If you don't want it to go to the next level, leave me out of it. Because when I step in the room, I don't come in the room to take sides. I come in the room to take over. And the sister should definitely be celebrated with me today because this is Women's History Month. And I know I got some history-making sisters in the room today. I, 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 I know I got some sisters who understand your value, not just culturally, but because you're a part of this house, you understand your value theologically. You understand that when God made all of the created order, he created, then stepped back and evaluated and said, it's good. On the first day, he created, stepped back and evaluated and said, it's good. On the second day, he created, stepped back and evaluated and said, it's good. On the third day, he created, stepped back and evaluated and said, it's good. On the fourth day, he created, stepped back and evaluated and said, it's good. On the fifth day, he created, stepped back and evaluated and said, it's good. But on the sixth day, he created man, stepped back and evaluated and say, it's not good that man should be alone. I got to make a helper. So he put man to sleep reached into the womb of man, pulled out a rib and made one man. Not just because Adam needed a wife, it's because humanity needed women. You've been designed to help. You've been anointed to help. When you walk in the room, some people don't even know it. Help just showed up. I need some sister that knows who you are to just open your mouth and say help is here. You give me a house, I'll turn it into a home. Help is here. We must understand and embrace our assignment as men and women. Listen to me. To not just be church goers. Do you think God, who's the ultimate expression of stewardship and wise investments, has made all the investments he's made in you just so you could go to church? Do you think he kept you through everything he kept you through just so you could go to church? Do you think you survived? Where are my survivors? Do you think you survived everything you survived just for you to go to church? You are not sane in the membrane if you believe that. God has been keeping you, providing for you, protecting you, looking out for you, not just because you are a church goer. He said, I'm making this kind of investment because you're a world changer. Yeah. 